Well, hi guys. Working on this here injector pump. Getting stuff taken loose. And it's not turning out to be as simple as the book makes it. it says you gotta take this one housing off. This one to get to the bolt on the front of the um, gear. Well, it's not there. You got to take this off, which is the speedometer drive. And I really don't know what all I'm getting into here. And I can't really tell what's what. I got my handy dandy books. But not giving me the best information here. Uh, trying to find another reference to this thing. I haven't been able to find what I'm looking for as far as that gear goes. Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm going to have to do some reading here because things just got a little more complicated. Apparently there is a bearing in here. In this housing. So now, uh, this just got a wee bit more complicated. Um, yeah. Should have known it couldn't have been that simple. I'm really hoping, and really, 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 really hoping that I'll bet you I end up having to take. Oh, you got it. No, 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 no. no. No way. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. No. We're not taking that apart. Um, no, that's... This just got... Sideways. Because if I got to take this off... I got to drain the radiator take the hoses off and God I don't know what all will have to come off of this good grief but I do have a convenient drain right down here take that loose and all the water the antifreeze will come out Oh boy. Okay. I thought I was doing something to make my job simpler by getting this ready. But I think I just made it more complicated.
go. Uh, boy. Dudes, we'll be back here in a bit. I got some, a lot of figuring to do on this now. This just got real complicated. Be back here in a bit. Well, hi guys. It's a uh, Wednesday the 20th, or is it day of September? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Talk a little bit about the lawn. Uh, as you can see, I did get her new tires put on the back. And the injection pump is on. Now I said I was going to do some video of this changing that pump. Well, I got into it and discovered real quick I was out of my league. Uh, this is not a normal pump to change. Say is the 1550 diesels or the case or anything else. It's a whole lot different. Normally on the front of the pump it's got the gear bolted to it. Well, this doesn't. This has a, the gears out here, there's a bearing, a bearing, a sleeve, and it has a spline shaft and a coupler in here. Uh, there are no real timing marks on the tractor to tell you when this is in time. You have to time it by the pump with a the dowel pin down here and it's not exact um, in fact uh, I ended up I started in the other video you'll see that I took the lines off and was getting ready to take the pump apart and I'm reading through this book again and reading it and rereading it and rereading it and it was getting more, getting me more confused as I went because it really wasn't making sense. Um, and this being a European built tractor of the 1970s there are a lot of differences between Europe and America at that time. Now, one of the things that uh, he really had problems with was literally the getting it in time. Uh, because you have to have a capillary tube go on number one and you have to get flew it in the tube and when you mark it uh, when it starts to move upward that means the pump the tractor is at 24 to 26 degrees before top dead center and that's when that pump fires but you're dealing with a pump that's leaking uh, internally and externally so that makes the job more difficult to do so I ended up taking this to a a good friend that works on has been working on equipment since the 1970s uh, and he has a lot of experience with the Fiat tractors. This is extremely similar to the Fiat tractor in the way it's built. 
So, he was a little more uh, at depth with what to do. Um, not saying he didn't have problems, because he did, but... Uh, it took him a lot longer to do this pump than he figured it would. But he got it on there and got it running, then discovered that his, the uh, throttle shut off. He got it up and running easy enough, but he couldn't get it to shut off because uh, the rod wasn't here wasn't moving far enough. And he had it in the wrong hole in the, on the back side, the arm for it. Well, <laughs> so he had to take the pump back off. And I literally stood there and watched him for 20 minutes trying to get this pump that he just literally unbolted, pulled out, changed that rod, and it took him 20, 25 minutes to get it to slide back in. It's that tight. Um, I know at some point, me being me, I would have been at a, a sledge-o-matic moment. So, <laughs> money well spent having him do this. But, uh, it runs good. Starts to run good, just like it always did. But the, uh, yeah, I got to fool with that now. But the, uh, the tractor runs great. Only problem is I got to adjust this throttle linkage. It's not getting to full RPM. And I may have to... To loosen the three bolts up to do a little bit of tweaking on the timing it's got some valve chatter and ping to it so I got to figure out I got to play with it some which is going to be interesting to do this because with the new pump on I know how the tractor ran before but a new pump, I've got to figure, do a little bit of tweaking on the timing and see how it pulls. But in the same note, I got to do a little, it's going to be a little more difficult because the new tires are on. And these tires make the tractor three inches taller in total height. They're uh, it raised the draw bar up three inches from 15 and a half to 18 and a half. So that's going to really screw around with the gear ratios. So I'm not going to be able to get an exact um, refinement on the pump because this has changed so uh, it's going to take me a little while to tweak everything out um, I got this back yesterday evening and one of the things I noticed right off the bat was pulling a hill there was absolutely no smoke coming out the exhaust when I started pulling down it just went uh, it's not running at full RPM yet, but I'll get it there. It's just going to take a little tweaking, and i got to play with this thing in the field, pulling to do a little bit of adjusting on that pump uh, to tweak it, basically. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, Yes, the new tires are on, as you can see, 
Um, there's kind of a little story behind these tires now. As you can see, that draw bar is high. Uh, almost right at your kneecap. It's 18 and a half inches from the ground up and literally putting these tires on raise the back of the tractor up at the draw bar three inches so I've really got to do some <sighs> playing with it there um, it's <laughs> gonna be interesting well like I say she's got the new ones on she looks good with them. Um, I'm going to have to do a lot of playing with the pressures in them to get them right because uh, I had an outfit come out and change these tires for me. Uh, it was a decision on my part because of well, basically what the doctor had to say. Um, uh, well, I have a heart issue and the doctor told me I need to lay off the heavy physical work for a bit. Uh, kind of to let the medicine and my heart get kind of back to normal. So, so okay I don't like to do it but I'm going to hire somebody to change the tires. And I'm really glad I did. Uh, dismounting the duels was a snap. He had them dismounted in both of them in a half an hour. No, no problem at all. It's when he went to take the back tires that was on this, which are now back there, both of them, and the tubes, that uh, his real work began. Uh, he worked an hour piece on the ramp tires that were on the tractor getting them off the bead, getting them broke loose from the bead. Uh, they were well stuck. But the funny thing was the inside of the rims looked like rims that were maybe a couple of years old because they never had calcium in them. So the rims looked new inside. There was a quick cleanup wipe them down. I shot them with some cold galvanizing compound which leaves a very slick powdery like finish and that'll allow that tube to move around. Now the, the tubes that were in these tires uh, were good but the, the tubes that were in the old tires were extremely heavy thick and heavy. So we put those tubes in these tires and I'll use those which are a lot lighter on those tires back on the rims and use them for duels for this, for the case, for whatever tractor I happen to have. Um, but it's as it is right now like I say, she's got her new tires on. The new injector pump is on and installed. Um, I've got oil here. I'm going to change the oil in this thing here in a few minutes. Mainly because it's... I don't exactly remember when the last oil change was. It's been sitting for three years. And... I ran it 10 hours and it was still leaking a little fuel into it 
So it's going to get the oil changed now. Uh, the pump oil is going to get drained and changed because it's a brand new pump and it's like breaking in a brand new engine. Uh, it was about an hour drive home, so changed the pump oil just to be on the safe side. While I'm at it, I'll see if I can adjust this threaded rod to give it a little more movement and just kind of play with it a little bit. But uh, that's a little about the old long. Uh, I basically spent Let's see, $450 to have the pump changed and four dismounts and two mounts of the back tires on here. Um, I didn't particularly want to do that, but doctor's orders, you got to follow them. Um, Kind of a little funny one here. Um, do you know the difference between a shade tree mechanic and a mechanic? Well, there's an answer. Shade tree mechanic will jump into something thinking, I can fix anything. A mechanic will get into something and realize this is beyond what he can do. This is beyond his abilities. And stop and get help before he screws something up. That's where I was at with this pump. You know, your standard injector pump, um, CAV or um, can't think of the ones that they're on the Oliver's. They're fairly simple to take off. Um, I mean, this pump right here, you're going to take this cover off. You're going to take a nut off the end of the pulley. You're going to pull the pulley off. You're going to undo all the lines and take the three mounting bolts off and pull it off. Well, you can't do that on this tractor. It's just that much difference. So, like I said, you have to be smart enough to know as a mechanic when something is beyond what you can do. And this pump being European and I've never ever fooled with anything like it was beyond what I was comfortable doing. Uh, it, for what he had to do to get this pump on time and running, I would have been a week trying to do the same thing and probably screwed something up. So it was money well spent. But anyway, right, guys, I'm going to get off here and get to work. So we'll see you next time. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.